I will show you how to set up a NetApp 50 with two slave protocols. First we search for the NT50 and move it via drag and drop onto the grey bus line. Let's begin with the configuration. We'll open the context menu with a right click and open configuration gateway. First we choose the two protocols that should be translated. The needed hardware is shown here. Next, the NetApp needs an IP address to be configured via Cycon.net. For this, we open the Ethernet device configuration tool that is installed together with Cycon.net. Please make sure that this address is in the same subnet as your network adapter. Now we set the exact same IP at the NetX driver window. Be aware that there is an entry at Select IP Range. If this field is empty, add an entry by clicking the green plus symbol. After saving, the device assignment can be done. First we load the firmware onto the NetApp. The process is finished after the yellow clock disappeared. We'll check the current IP of the NetApp again. Depending on the setup, this could now be fallen back to the default value 0.0.0.0. .0. .0. .0. .0. In this case, it is not needed to do the configuration again. The two protocols can be configured as needed and independent from each other. Next we do the signal mapping. As I show here, the signals can be marked and dragged as a block by using the shift key on your keyboard. Be cautious with the function auto-mapping because it will force the structure of one protocol onto the other and will override the configuration of the process data done beforehand. 
it's also irreversible. A quick check if the device assignment is still active. Now we can transfer the configuration onto the NetTab. This takes a moment. Finally, we can check the three diagnostic windows to detect possible issues.